Lot 45, spot guilt 39-9, January 7th born, mattress pad crossover supposedly. Uh, out of the 13.9 sow uh, that originated from Andy Rash there, we picked up a few years ago that had a, a good successful show career. Um, these 39s have been good. We, uh, you know, when you look at the males, uh, then we get into a pair of uh, gilts here that I am absolutely infatuated with. Uh, 39.9 um, for me does some does some things that are really really hard to do in the in the spotted breed. Um, she's extra sharp about her front end. She opens up uh, with a really impressive uh, uh, back shape. Um, really good about her rib. Um, when she can turn and comes right at you, I mean, her the squareness that she she gives you about her chest and front knee is second to none. Um, her her proportions are crossbred like, uh, and then the way that she uses her her rear leg is is absolutely impressive. Uh, I mean, I think this is you got to drive a lot of miles to find a spotted female to look like that, and you throw in that color pattern, and and uh, I think that's what spotted females are supposed to look like. Yeah, this is one impressive female. I mean, proportions is the word right here. I mean, uh, not only has she uh, got the right type of pattern, uh, stout, boxy, good muscle shape, still extended off of both ends. <coughs> Excuse me, has an absolutely incredible hind leg. But yet, uh, when you study that thing's skull and chest when she comes right at you, she is uh, so opened up. Uh, her hawk design is extremely well. I think that one, uh, height to length ratio is incredible. Like you said, I also have traveled a lot of places, not seen one quite that looks like that. I'm a big fan of this one. She's got an awesome color pattern to go with it.